None of us will be our party's candidate in 2024. He said. The highly unusual debate, moderated by Fox conservative host Sean Hannity and billed by Network as the Great Red State vs. Blue State debate, was a window into an alternative political universe. President Joe Biden and former President Donald Trump are set for a 2024 rematch of 2020. Presidential race. The odds were stacked against Newsom. Democrat who faces both a Republican debate partner and questions from conservative angles as he tries to play surrogate role for Biden's re-election effort. But stakes were much higher for DeSantis, who's flagging bid for the 2024 Republican presidential nomination urgently needed a jolt heading into Iowa caucuses less than seven weeks away. Newsom serves as Biden's surrogate DeSantis' open debate by suggesting that Newsom is seeking the national spotlight as part of a shadow 2024 presidential race built on belief that Biden, 81, will not ultimately seek a second term. You're running, DeSantis said. But Newsom sided with Biden, defending the president's record on the economy, immigration and more before Fox's right-leaning audience. 14 million jobs is 10 times more than the last three Republican presidents combined, Newsom said as he began reading a list of economic accomplishments after DeSantis called himself a bidonomics advocate. DeSantis harshly criticized Biden's handling of the U.S.-Mexico border. This is a guy who says Biden administration is not lying to the public about border, he said of Newsom. They are lying to you. Meanwhile, Newsom pointed out that DeSantis sent migrant buses from the Texas border to Martha's Vineyard. He said DeSantis did this, so you can get past Trump. So how's that going for you, Ron? By the way, you're down 41 points in your home state, Newsom said. Newsom then taunted DeSantis for mispronouncing Vice President Kamala Harris' name. Shame on you, Newsom said repeating the correct pronunciation of the vice president's name. For you, Madam Vice President, DeSantis faces attacks over changing position Newsom also launched a series. Attacks that appeared to come from any of DeSantis' primary rivals, accusing the Florida governor shifting positions on issues such as immigration and environmental protection as he eyed the presidential race. These attacks clearly designed to hurt DeSantis in front of Republican presidential primary voters, were among the debate's most memorable moments. The most striking of these may be the issue of pandemic policies. DeSantis called Newsom lockdown governor and criticized his decisions during the coronavirus outbreak, noting that California governor's children attend a private school that received permission to open for in-person education while public schools were closed. Newsom countered that DeSantis was following the science, closing bars and restaurants, heeding vice of former infectious diseases official Anthony Fauci and supporting vaccines. You. Except. 